I would like to welcome all of you today in Morocco and to tell you how proud to be here with you and how my country is happy and honored for receiving this conference. What to say? To say that uh, science and research are very important and that is very common. But we have to say that nowadays, in our countries, there is something very important. How to make science, education, knowledge, start talking to people. And I think it's very important. Research in laboratories is very important. Of course, discoveries are very important for our future and the future of our world. But all of this is not enough. I think people have to know what will be the future with science and research, but also there is some kind of commitment needed from all of us who are interested in science and knowledge to make sure that the ones that live with us, the children overall, know that science has another counterpart. And the other counterpart is, of course, veil values, real values. I think that uh, science today, technology, sometimes for many people, means death and pain and uh, an acceptable situation. And you have to recall that we are responsible too in that. Uh, science sans conscience, n'est que ruine de l'âme, is something that French philosophers have said years and years ago. And they say that that day, today, something that is real. But uh, looking to the future of my country, I can tell you that at this right moment, we are working to improve, to change our education system. To change it, more than that, just to break and to create a rupture with the past. And that is very important because we have to look to the future with new eyes. We have to overcome a lot, a lot of mistakes that we have made for more than 30 years right now. It's the reason why we decided that not only we have to change the curricula, we have to change all the system of education and the sense of education itself. It's a, a hard work, and when talking to you today, I can tell you that it's a, a daily fight, but more than that, it's something that not only hurts you, because sometimes you are the, the one who must disappear, the one who has not the right to be, just because you want to change things to make better life for your citizens and for your children and the best future. That, in fact, what is the, the consequences of ignorance. We decided also to go into the most advanced research. And uh, I have the pleasure to say here that we decided to found a research center that will be working on ergo pedagogy using the best knowledge and the best research is made in the neurosciences. It's for us something very important to make sure that the new approaches, the new pedagogies, the new ways to, to train our teacher will take into account all what you know, you know today about our brain. It's wonderful to say that it is possible to do better with less time and less effort, less money, just understanding how our brain is to, to work. And that is possible today. Um, I asked Zafra that it will be possible perhaps to sign the agreement that will be 
as a first step for launching this, uh, this center. Unfortunately, my partner is not in Morocco right now, so it's something that we'll do later. But I want you to know that Morocco is undertaking important steps towards the future. Uh, I will stop there and uh, wish you a good stay in my country, a good conference, and uh, I'm sure that at the end, and uh, especially perhaps with the education session, if I can, I can be back here to listen to you and to learn as much as possible for some of this brilliant, of course, uh, uh, brilliant flow. Thank you very much, and thank you, Zafra, for having involved me in this endeavor, and thank you to all for being with us.